What's going on everybody? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. So in this video, we're gonna be moving this rig right here into my rental property to make some supplemental heat instead of just exhausting it through the exhaust fans. It, it doesn't make any sense in the winter. I'm paying for propane and I'm paying for the electricity anyways. So you might as well, you know what I mean? Cover some of the costs. So that's my uh, plan there. But in addition to that, I wanna try to do a update video of that BIOS flash that we just did on these PNY cards. They worked fantastic. We actually got a lot of people in the community a whole bunch extra mega hash that they didn't have before for pretty much the same watts. I mean, I'm super excited. These things are running like 35 mega hash at 75 watts, so I really can't complain. This is a Hynix Memory MSI card, so I wanna to try to flash it with the MSI BIOS. And then in addition to that, I wanna throw the BIOS on, I have two Hynix Memory Zotax in here, 1660 Supers. So first things first, I need to remove this USB and replace it with these M.2s because Rondi's gonna kill me if I don't do that soon. So that's gonna be uh, the first thing. Second thing, I'm gonna try to flash that card. I'm just gonna take that and put it in place of one of these just for the time being, probably the 3060 I'll just rip out just to be able to put it on there. And then finally, I will end up jumping into the Zotax because I know people have been having a hard time with the Zotax, getting them to flash. So I'm trying to see if it's the USB messing with it. So, I mean, there's really only one way to find out. Let's rip this thing out, let's get these SSDs in, and then I will be back in just a second. All right, so we just got this rig back up and running. As you can see, USB is out, M.2 is in. I just hooked a screen up to it because I'm gonna have to attach this unit to uh, Wi-Fi when I take it from here and I put it in the rental property. But for the time being, I'm just gonna leave this running and at the end of the video, I'll move it. This right here is actually a Micron memory. I thought this was Hynix because I bought two of these and one was Hynix and one wasn't. I forgot that one was not, and the one actually in this rig is. So in a few, I'm gonna shut this down, I'm gonna change the SSD, and I might as well flash that one while we're uh, into it, and then we'll go from there. CCXD6 has this 1660 Super. As you can see, it's a Hynix memory and MSI. 28.73 mega hash, 70 watts, negative 1004 on the memory and the core. So we're gonna try to BIOS flash this after I swap out that M.2. All right, so we're gonna shut down the rig and let's swap that thing out. So that M.2 is now swapped out. I just stopped the miner again. I just wanted to make sure it all registered. So now I'm gonna go download the original BIOS and upload the MSI one. And let's see if we can get over 28 mega hash on this 1660 Super. Let's do it. All right, so the MSI card took the flash perfectly fine. As you can see, Hynix still says MSI. We're doing 32.39 mega hash now, 77 watts, 2600 on the memory and 1050 on the core. I'm gonna have to mess with those clocks a little bit. I'm just happy it's at least over 28, so I gained about four mega hash regardless. So that's cool. All right, so now I'm gonna shut down these three rigs. I'm gonna get all those M.2s all swapped out then I am going to try and flash the BIOS on these Zotax. I really don't know if it's gonna work or not, but I'm doing it for you guys because I know you guys would like to know. So here we go. This is the last one we got, CCXD3. And this has the 1660 Supers with the Hynix memory that are the Zotac cards. As you can see, GPU two right there, and there's another one down here, GPU 11. So 11 is doing 31.45 and the other one is doing 31.8. So what I'm gonna do right now is stop the miner. I'm gonna download the V BIOSes. So I have both original BIOSes. So let me slam this thing in there. I'm gonna try to flash that BIOS and then uh, we'll see what happens. All right, there it says in process V BIOS Hynix PNY flash. So that is, again, the 1660 Zotac Hynix memory. I guess we're gonna see. I am uh, concerned because, like I said, when I was here yesterday, I did try this. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I did. 
and it did not take. But I'm wondering if now having the M.2 in there is gonna make a difference. I guess we're just gonna have to see. So in the meantime, I'm gonna let this rig do its thing because it literally took about 10 minutes for this thing to reboot last time and the BIOS flash didn't take. So if this doesn't take, I'm gonna try the MSI one. And if that doesn't take, then I guess I'm just gonna leave it alone and we're gonna go from there. But in the meantime, I am going to unplug this rig. I'm gonna bring it into the rental property, set it up, and uh, I'm not gonna show you guys that. Obviously it's inside of somebody's house. So I'm going to put this just basically on a table in there in the corner and just let it hash away. So. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's go shut this thing down. Yeah, so it's been about five or 10 minutes and that rig is still like black screened, not doing anything. And again, it just shows offline, but within like another five minutes, this thing will come back up and the actual flashing of the card won't change a bit. So I really don't think the Zotac cards can actually take these BIOS flashes because it did the same thing yesterday with the USB in it. Clearly it wasn't the M.2. So I think we're just gonna call it a night. There's really no point of uh, trying anything else. There's nothing else to try. I did the MSI, I did the Hynix and it's just still not doing it. So now I gotta get this thing over into the rental property. I kind of just bundled it all up <laughs> which is ridiculous. I put the tabletop stands, those are the version ones that we, uh, those like the prototype kinda. I have a screen, I got a mouse keyboard combo, I got an extension cord, I got some longer USBs in case I need them to put these uh, GPUs on the stands off to the sides or something. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go get this set up. I wanna make sure it's hashing away and then we'll close out. All right, so all these Zotac cards are back up and hashing. Unfortunate news, the BIOS flash that I have on these cards, for whatever reason, is not working. The palette version and the MSI version just are absolute no-goes in this situation. Everything's back to normal. Even though I did flash the BIOS, or tried to do like a force flash, it still didn't allow it. It's still doing the 31 and change, and yeah, I mean, it still says Zotac, Hynix. So the card didn't get bricked by trying to do any type of uh, BIOS flash, but it still did not take. So, I mean, whatever, 32 with a 1660, I'm still happy with that. It's like literally just under 32. So it's very unfortunate that that didn't work, but at least it did work on those uh, PNY cards that I had sitting on the floor right there that are now homed inside the rental property to act as supplemental heat. So as always guys, I appreciate you all for watching. Hopefully uh, this build right here will be coming at some point soon. I did bring some uh, thermal paste. I have a CPU ready to go. I just need to figure out what cards I'm gonna take apart to build it in. I think I might disassemble this right here, this setup, only because I have a normal standard ATX PSU back there with the server PSU on top of it. And I would like to get rid of the ATX PSU and just use servers. So that's gonna be my goal slash plan. But if you guys wanna see that, please don't forget, smash that like and subscribe. Don't forget to tick that little bell for all those post notifications. And I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.